The year is 1403. Ottoman Sultan Bayezid died in captivity after being defeated and captured by Timur at the Battle of Ankara. Bayezid was known as Thunderbolt because he was a very swift and fierce warrior who conquered many lands and enemies in a short time. He was also the only Ottoman Sultan ever captured in a battlefield in person. This event triggered the Ottoman Interregnum, a period of civil war and chaos among Bayezid's sons. This is their story. Bayezid was the fourth Ottoman Sultan. He was focused to extend the Ottoman dominion. He conquered many Turkmen emirates in Anatolia. He defeated the Crusaders at the Battle of Nicopolis, one of the last large-scale crusades of the Middle Ages. And he laid siege to Constantinople. But an unanticipated help came from the east for the Byzantine Emperor. Timur was of both Turkic and Mongol descent. He envisioned the restoration of the Mongol Empire and saw himself as Genghis Khan's heir. When the Turkmen tribes took refuge behind Timur against Bayezid, a clash became inevitable. Two sides met in Ankara battlefield. The Ottoman army was defeated. Bayezid was captured and taken to Timur. He had five sons with him fighting that day. Mehmed was saved by one of the army commanders who took him to his hometown of Amasya. Mehmed would make him his grand vizier later on. Suleiman was the eldest son of Bayezid. He was in the command of Ottoman left flank. But when the Ottoman army was defeated, he fled to European portion of the empire with his father's vizier. Isa escaped to western Anatolia and hidden near Balikasir. Timur kept Bayezid and two of his captured sons close to him. After the battle, he moved through western Anatolia to the Aegean coast, where he besieged and took the city of Smyrna. However, after Bayezid's death in 1403, Timur released Musa to take his father's body to Bursa to be buried. Timur soon returned back to Persia, still keeping one of Bayezid's sons, Mustafa, captive. Musa was released. He returned to the Ottoman Empire, which was now in turmoil, and tried to access the throne in Bursa, the Anatolian capital of the empire. Upon discovering his father's demise in captivity, Isa commenced a struggle against his brothers for the vacant throne. He fought against Musa to gain control of Bursa. He defeated Musa and won control of a part of Anatolian territory of the empire. The European territory, Rumeli, was under the control of Suleiman and the east part of Anatolian territory was under the control of Mehmed. Feeling his lands to be fragile situated between his brothers on both sides, he signed a treaty of friendship with the Byzantine emperor and refused Mehmed's suggestion to partition the Anatolian part of the empire with him on the grounds that he was the elder brother and was entitled the entirety of the territory. But following this refusal, he was defeated by Mehmed in the Battle of Ulubad in 1403. He escaped to Rumeli over Byzantine territories. Isa met with Suleiman, who supported his cause in Anatolia. With fresh troops provided by Suleiman, he returned to Anatolia and tried to recapture Bursa, but failed. After a series of defeats, and the betrayal of his allies, Isa gave up the war for the throne. He went into hiding and was spotted in a public bath in Eskisehir and was strangled by Mehmed's partisans in 1403. Mm -hmm. 
Suleiman signed the Treaty of Gallipoli with the Byzantine Emperor. By this treaty, he gave up the city Salonika and certain territories along the Mamara coast to the Byzantine Empire in return for Byzantine support in the civil war. He declared himself as the Sultan of the Empire in Adirna, the co-capital in Rumeli of the Ottoman Empire. But the Asiatic side of the empire, so-called Anatolia, was under the control of his brother Mehmet. Worried about Mehmet's increasing power, Suleiman crossed the Dardanelles Strait to reunite the empire. He captured Bursa, the Anatolian capital. He then captured the city of Ankara from Mehmet, but did not advance further. Suleiman returned to Bursa, which gave Mehmet a chance to relax. Mehmet then made an alliance with their brother Musa, who was also a contender for the Ottoman throne, sending him to the European portion of the empire via Wallachia. Because of this plot, Suleiman now had to fight in two fronts on two sides, one in Europe against Musa and one in Anatolia against Mehmet. Suleiman turned his attention to Rumelia against Musa, leaving Anatolia to Mehmet once again. Musa had the support of Wallachians and the Serbs, and Suleiman had the support of the Byzantines. Musa was defeated in the Battle of Cosmidion. However, despite his defeat, he continued with hit-and-run tactics against Suleiman up until 1410. Meanwhile, Suleiman had lost most of his previous allies due to his uncontrollable temper. In 1411, Musa's tactics finally gave victory and he captured Adirna. The defeated Suleiman, while attempting to escape into Byzantine territories, was killed by villagers. Musa declared himself the Sultan of the European portion of the empire, while Mehmet viewed Musa as his vassal. Musa besieged Byzantine Constantinople as retribution for the emperor's support for Suleiman during the previous battles between Musa and Suleiman. The Byzantine emperor turned to Mehmet for support, who betrayed Musa and set up a new alliance between himself and the Byzantines against Musa. In 1411 and in 1412, Mehmet's forces clashed with Musa's, and in both cases, Mehmet was defeated. In 1413, Mehmet gained the support of Serbian monarch and the Turkish emirates, as well as some of the generals in Musa's army. He defeated Musa's forces in the Battle of Samulu in Bulgaria. Injured and trying to escape, Musa was spotted and killed in 1413. After winning the civil war, Mehmed crowned himself sultan in the city of Edirne that lay in the European part of the empire, becoming Mehmed I. While his four brothers were fighting each other during the Ottoman civil war, Mustafa was held captive in Samarkand in modern-day Uzbekistan. After the death of Timulain, he returned to Anatolia in 1405 and hid himself in the territories of the Turkish Emirates. After the civil war, from which his brother Sultan Mehmed had emerged victorious, Mustafa appeared in the European portion of the Ottoman Empire with the help of Byzantine Emperor. Mustafa asked Mehmed to partition the empire with him. Mehmed refused this request and easily defeated Mustafa's forces in battle. Mustafa took refuge in the Byzantine city of Salonika in 1416. After reaching an agreement with Mehmed, the Byzantine emperor exiled him to the island of Lemnos. Mehmed ruled the reunited empire as sultan for just eight years while struggling with rebellions. His son Murad took over after his death. After the death of Mehmed in 1421, Mustafa felt that he could easily defeat his nephew Murad. With the aid of the Byzantines, he took over Gelibolu the fort overseeing the Strait of the Dardanelles 
and began to govern in Rumeli after capturing Edirne, the European capital of the empire. Although Murad sent troops over the Strait of Bosphorus to defeat Mustafa, even these troops joined his forces in the battle. Growing overconfident in his abilities, Mustafa decided to cross the Dardanelles and complete his conquest of the Asian side of the empire in Anatolia. On the way, some of Mustafa's allies deserted him. He lost his hope of conquering Anatolia and fled to Rumeli, but Murad's forces quickly pursued and captured him. Mustafa received a death sentence and was hanged in 1422. This was an unusual way to kill a member of the Ottoman dynasty. Murad probably wanted to show that Mustafa was not his real uncle, but a fake.